Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial of the wolf eye I uploaded last week. So last week I uploaded the quicker time lapse and this video will be a bit longer and I will walk you through the process and the steps I took to create this drawing. So I used Faber-Castell Polychromos and a black and white Caran d'Ache Luminance on Canson 1557 paper. And for the sketch I use a mechanical pencil by Pentel. It's 0.3 millimeters and it has a 2B filling. So first of all I want to mention that wolves almost never have blue eyes. The pups can have blue eyes but when they grow up they will turn kind of yellowish, um, brownish. So this might not be the most common color for wolf eyes but I just love blue. So I made it blue. So first I start out with sketching the outlines. I keep this really light because um, colored pencil over graphite won't look right. It will create like smudgy and ugly colors. So make sure to keep the sketch really light when you want to go over with colored pencil later. And after sketching the outlines, I start out by filling in the pupil first. This is the darkest part within the eye. So um, if I get that right first, I can judge the rest of my colors and my values better. The pupil is almost black, but I don't start out with black right away. Um, I start out with a, a dark indigo blue and also some walnut brown for the pupil. And I use a light hand to build that up. I also keep a, um, a lighter space open within the pupil because this is a little reflection. So I basically draw around that when I start with filling in the pupil with black. So now I'm starting out with shading the iris. And I start out with the area around the pupil and then I work my way outwards. It's very important to keep your strokes in the right direction. So I work or in really small circles or I draw really small strokes in the right direction. So for the iris I used several shades of blue. I used phthalo blue and also um, ultramarine blue. I use that around the purple and also a lighter minty color. And for these first layers I use a very light hand as well. If you're using too much pressure right away you won't be able to layer the other colors on top because the paper will get saturated too soon. So make sure to use a very light hand for the first layers. So here I'm drawing in the lashes, I'm basically drawing around them, so I use my black and I, um, I draw around the lashes because they are going to be white. So when you're working with colored pencil you basically have to draw around the light areas. So here I'm burnishing the outer edges of the iris. And with burnishing I mean that I take my white luminance and I'm going to press the colors into the paper. And this will get rid of the texture of the paper so you will get a really smooth finish.
so I do that around the pupil as well and then I can go over with um, other colors and with that I can hype up the, the saturation a bit more because after burnishing the colors usually will get a bit, a bit flat So far for the iris I used um, Helio Blue, Dark Indigo Blue, and Thalo Blue, and also Ultramarine Blue. And now I'm going to draw in some veins. And I do that with a dark violet color. I make sure to keep my pencil really sharp so I can get in a lot of detail. And I'm just copying a reference photo for this. Or at least I'm not exactly copying the reference here um, I just use it for for the anatomy so now that I drew in the veins I'm going over it with another blue a lighter blue and with this I'm going to fill in the whole iris you don't want to leave any areas white so now that the whole iris is colored in I'm taking my white luminance and I'm going to burnish the whole iris. I'm really pressing that color into the paper. To get the best results you have to um, keep your pencils really sharp. I use the Derwent um, Super Point Manual Sharpener for that, it works really well. The reason why I use the White Luminance Pencil for the burnishing is because the Caran d'Ache uh, Luminous Pencils are more wax based, they are a bit softer than the Faber-Castell ones so I really like the effects when I burnish with the white luminance Here I'm drawing in a little reflection with my jelly roll pen. And now I keep adding shadows and details until I get the contrast how I want it to be. And then after I was happy with the iris, I started out with filling in the eyelids. I use a black um, Caran d'Ache Luminance for this because it's a little bit blacker than the Polychromos. So I really like that one for really dark areas. And 
And now it's time to move on to the whites of the eye. The whites of the eye are never completely white. So for this I use the violet color again, also some brown and some blues as well. And I fill that in and then I burnish it again. And now I'm moving on to the bottom eyelid and I'm also drawing some hairs around it. I'm keeping these hairs random, so when you're drawing hair it's always good to not draw them all um, at an even length or even direction. Try to variate a bit and try to make it look natural. So you can see I'm building up this bottom eyelid with several colors. I used the, um, the indigo blue again and also some walnut brown and then I, I burnished the whole bottom eyelid with my Caran d'Ache luminance again and this will give a really smooth finish. And now I'm moving on to drawing the fur around the eye. I'm basically drawing the shadows in between the fur. The fur itself is white. So with the black I'm drawing the shadows in between the fur. And this will create the fur texture. For this it's very important to keep your pencil sharp. So now I'm moving on to the final details, which are a few highlights in the eye with the Sakura Jelly Roll pen. And then the drawing was basically finished. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Um, feel free to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this drawing. I hope you found it helpful, let me know if you have, if you have any questions in the comments. I'd love to answer those. Yeah, then I want to thank you for watching. I think the whole drawing took me about one and a half hours to complete. The whole list of materials will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.